Hi, I'm James Hahn II, certified professional coach and sugar addiction expert bringing you this week's Sweet Solution. Did you know that fat does not make you fat? Ever since the late 1970s, Americans have been obsessed with low-fat food. Coincidentally, ever since the late 1970s, Americans have packed on more and more pounds, leading to the greatest obesity epidemic in the history of the world. Why? Well, whenever you remove fat from food, you also remove the flavor. And guess what you have to add in order to get some taste? Sugar and other sweeteners. So in the end, it's not fat that makes you fat. It's actually sugar and all the other sweeteners that are in all the garbage processed food that we're eating today. Here's how it works. Whenever you eat anything, you experience a rise in blood sugar. Now once your body realizes there's been a rise in blood sugar, your pancreas releases insulin. Insulin's job is to take some of your blood sugar and convert it right away and use it as energy. Now the excess that's not used for energy gets taken back to your liver and other muscle tissues and it gets stored as, guess what, fat for later use. So the goal isn't to remove fat from your diet. The goal is to control your blood sugar. Well, how can you do that? Here are three tips. Tip number one, eat breakfast every day with protein within an hour of waking up. When you wake up in the morning, your blood sugar is going to be naturally low. So what you want to do is you want to soak the fire. Have a protein shake. Have some sausage. Have some bacon. Have some eggs. Have some protein. Not only is that going get to the, get the engine started, it's going to jumpstart your metabolism and you're going to be burning fuel a lot more efficiently throughout the day. Tip number two. Eat at regular intervals throughout the day. Preferably three meals a day if you're a real hardcore food sugar addict like myself. But if you need more than three meals a day, still regular intervals. Take a banana and, and, and an apple. Eat the banana at 10 and the apple at 3. Regular intervals will maintain your blood sugar throughout the day, keep you full of energy, and keep those nasty food cravings away. Tip number three. Focus on the four main food groups. Meat, fruit, vegetables, and whole grains. That's it. It's simple. Granted, in the American toxic food landscape, it's not always easy, but it's simple. If you do nothing besides getting rid of sugar and refined flour and follow these three simple tips, you will lose weight, you will be happier, and you will have more energy. And the next question becomes, how do you kick sugar? Well, that and much more will be covered in future Sweet Solutions. So make sure and tune in and join in the March to Freedom. I'm James Hahn with Slave to Freedom, and I'm the guy to see when you're ready to break free.